to news from the United Nations of Earth, where a local Class B star faces life imprisonment in a Dyson sphere after being accused of firing solar flares at a nearby planet. For more, we join Veltasa Mondrak with this special report. It was just an ordinary day for the residents of the small, quiet planet of San Lucas, until it wasn't. In the early hours of December 5th, the planet was hit, seemingly unprovoked, by solar flares. The resulting electromagnetic pulses and atmospheric ignition left the planet critically injured. Residents who survived the initial burndown were left without access to social media for hours. In the wake of this horror, only one question remained. Why and who? Today, that question appears closer to being answered by local authorities. In a stunning turn of events, an arrest warrant was issued for the system's local star, Bitrius. The 10 million year old supergiant energy mass was picked up near to the scene of the crime by a local observatory. With Bitrius now towed into custody to await trial, locals are hopeful that the planet may finally be able to move on from this deeply traumatic event. However, for those who are still struggling to put their lives back together, they say it will be difficult to rest until this celestial body is brought to justice. And with the latest, we can now go live to Veltassa, who's been following the trial closely. Thanks, Kashnak. That's right. Vitrius attended the court behind me earlier today, but refused to answer any questions, instead opting to pulsate silently at nearly 10 million degrees Celsius. Pictures showed a tense scene inside the charred remains of San Lucas's district court, with jurors and members of the public alike clearly struggling to listen to the disturbing evidence coming to light. Local residents have expressed their shock at recent developments. I just can't believe it. Bitrius has lived in this system for eons. It was always so quiet and unassuming. You know, just one of those stars that kept to itself. I was a witness and asked if I can identify Bitrius from a lineup of stars. They said it would be fine to look directly at them. While Bitrius's motive for such an act remains unknown, prosecutors are confident they have a robust case with or without the star's testimony. As soon as our forensics team figure out a way to develop inflammable DNA testing kits, it won't be long before we join up all the dots. We want this to be a message to all the stars out there in the galaxy. Just because you're a giant spinning sphere of plasma doesn't mean you're above the law. Enforcers have also retroactively charged Bitrius with resisting arrest after the star refused to be moved into custody and incinerated over 30,000 officers attempting to restrain it. If found guilty, Bitrius could face a life sentence in a maximum secure Dyson Sphere facility alongside legal fees estimated at approximately one trillion energy credits to fund construction of said sphere. The trial continues tomorrow. Back to you in the studio, Kashnak. That special report by Veltasa Mondrang. Coming up next, this 172-year-old paranoid substance misusing scientist somehow still is...